So let's just make the foreground and the background a bit more distinguishable. Oops. Like with a slide, trying to get in some slight fog. Just to see where that's a bit green right there. Oh, yeah, maybe. And this is just too, too much. Okay. Yeah, I definitely think like this part here is like the the weakest part of the picture. As as it's also kind of unused, we we can see that clearly. It's it's really not not like saying anything or doing anything in a certain way. So I mean, we don't have to like fully pack our image all the time. It's nice to have some free spaces for the eye to wander, but at least we can give it like some nice texture or something that that the eye can just play with. We don't want to like over entertain the eye. That's also not the goal here. But you can already like see very like clear patterns that how you start, how in the end you really start detailing, detailing and and making the whole process almost a meditative one, where you just like know where you are in your painting and you know where you want to be and everything starts like almost going by itself. So yeah. This is better already, and now I want to have some like nice plants over here. Actually, I want to see this place kind of like blossoming or something. However, it's tricky because we don't have any. Like, maybe I have some trees. Just yeah, just like that. And trees can actually be quite cool. Okay, so then we then we can add some like very basic corny details, I would say. Um, well, first of all, just give it some like, make it make this little test if they have a little better silhouette. Yeah, that's better to make it a little bit brighter maybe on the blue side of things I'm not sure yet yeah just like that it should do it even reddish this is kind of cool too and then making this part really bright and again those guys okay 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 now it, I think it's about time to to wrap this thing up with a yeah, with the corny details. So just give it a new layer. And we had birds. Woo! We just add this funky bird brush right here. And see what the birds are 
allowing. Maybe we can even put these birds into like a like a space where the composition is a little bit weak. So here it could be actually quite interesting to have them. And then on the darker parts, like putting the birds somewhere here. Oh, dark birds always look so dark. But uh, they should actually look bright. I want bright birds. So, how do we get some bright birds? Just like that. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's just, it's almost just like an effect, or more, more or less. It's not really like painting and it's kind of like interesting to just play around and now we can just erase them out like whatever birds we don't want that's like my favorite approach to just see where where we had with with the whole like yeah composition and everything so and then lock the transparency and then even here I can still go and add some some overlay or some make parts brighter or whatever Okay, guys, I think this is it. Just make make the final flip check. That's that's what I really love to do. Uh, it's basically where I just like press Control Shift Alt E, and now the whole picture is is on its own layer again with all the layers merged. Control T, and then with the right click. I say flip horizontal and then we have a completely new view on that picture and can can just observe like what parts are strange or what parts are just like resonating with us and I can I can already see like some some parts where I'm just like completely going to to paint over oops and that is like this part over here it feels like it's too much in the foreground so it it what I what I have in mind when I see this is I want this to be more in line with the flow of this area right there. So maybe having something like like that. Just timing it easier, distinguishable. Okay, and then like adding some some trees back, so we have the same flora. This looks already more readable for me. Same down here. 
having these trees available and then also it's the, the tones where I'm not quite sure if it's the right tones it's where where we get a little bit dark over there yeah like like that where I feel like it just needs some more gentle as I said with the with the whole tone thing like the moment you're entering the background it becomes a very gentle business like really taking care of, of the right color tones not that easy so here and there it can actually be brighter as this whole stone thingy is of a brighter color Obviously, um, am I on the right layer? You? Oh yeah, I'm. Okay. Could maybe even have some. Yeah, something, something like that should do it. Hey. Wow, what a long journey. Yeah, so I'm basically just adding details that that I feel unnecessary looking at the picture from the other side. some details are absolutely necessary that's for sure wow now I feel like I want to add some more highlight on the rock back there. Really giving it some... extra bright colors. Like that. I feel like that makes a good, good different. Like, gives a nice spectrum, basically. And then, what else am I missing? Actually, I'm missing some of these tones over here. So, like, right now we just have kind of this isolated space. Like, just here, it's, it's like this one type of plant, or just this one type of... Which, which has just one type of feel to it and let's see how we can just merge that more into the rest of the picture because it feels like a little bit a little bit alone I have to say honestly there it's just does not feel too integrated which is sad actually because this is kind of a cool cool part and it would be kind of a waste not to really use it so now let's do some analog strokes here 
They're always beautiful to have. Just like that. Framing the picture a little bit. Uh, maybe these last ones were a bit too generous. And then, like, maybe having some of these colors here or. maybe giving it more of a middle ground for this tree maybe it's just that tree that's too dark I'm not sure what I'm seeing here but it's something that it just it's off in terms of colors and tones so it might be actually just the tree stump right here let's see oh, that that already does something yeah there yeah, yeah. So you see, I'm, I'm like, very often I'm just clueless and I just sneak my way into the, to a position where I think this, this could do something. And I think just becoming sensitive in this, in this way, yeah, it will like greatly improve any type of work you're doing, like to just like take your time to feel out where you are actually at the moment. So, wow, this this is it now, really. <laughs> Let's reflip the image, flip horizontally. I kind of prefer this like more of a homecoming feeling as the other other side looks more like a like a journey or something. It's also cool, but it's something different. So, yeah. Flipped and then we can see like what's what the difference is. And you can clearly see like what happened. And, and how it changes the, the feel a little bit and yeah that, that were the the final detailed steps congratulations if you make it made it till here because it's especially the last bit is quite a tough one as there's not a lot of things um technically that they're happening but it's more of an exper experiential thing oh and then there's already something that i see that it's kind of like lacking a little bit which is this corner over there this tiny corner and yeah so it's basically something that you really learn to to be more yeah efficient with after time to take your time for the last steps and really like get them through and and do what what needs to be done and so yeah big a big 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 uh, what do you say nowadays thumbs up for you if you made it up 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 to that point and yeah enjoy <laughs>